Hello investors, this is a presentation on Punjab National Bank brought to you by Smart Investor. Subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos and click on the bell icon for new video notifications. This is taken from the investor presentations given by the Punjab National Bank. This highlights the company's results as of third quarter of FI22. CRAR is up by 14.91%, net interest margin is up by 2.93, net profit is at 1127 crores, retail advances have grown by 7.7%, agricultural sector has gone by 6.2%, MSME has gone by 4.1%, gross NPA is reduced to 12.88%, net NPA is 4.90%, PCR at 18%, domestic cash is at 45%, saving deposit at 8.8% year on year growth. Casa deposits have a growth of 7.6% year on year. The key financial metrics for the quarter ended December 21 includes operating profit is up by 26.2%, net income is up by 3.6%, fee based income is up by 10.3%, operating expenses by declined by 3.3% quarter on quarter. Net, net interest income is up by 22.8%, net interest margin is improved by 54 basis points. Cost income ratio is 660 BPS, return on equity is 7 BPS. The gross NPA ratio is improved by 75 BPS, net NPA by 59 BPS, PCR improved by 200 points. Digital transaction increased with 70% uh, in the month of December from 66% in the month of September. The advances have grown and retail has 12 lakh to 420. And agriculture is 1 lakh to 412. MSME has grown to 123 to 25. On design crores, retail advances have grown by 74 483 crores. Vehicle loan has gone up by 11,542 crores. Personal loan has gone up by 11,257 crores. And gold loan has gone up by 910 crores. MSME portfolio mix, the company has been in the forefront of Mudra scheme. Amount sanctioned in 9 months of 22 is 9,887 crores. Disperse is 8,846 crores. MSME amount sanctioned 19,114 crores. Disperse is 16,337 crores. The shareholding capital, the government of India holds 73% of the bank. Rests are FI, mutual funds, resident, residential. FPIs and others. The company has launched a lot of digital initiatives, digital banking, 70% debit card penetration eligibility base, 20% digitally opened SF account during Q3, 70% digital transaction, 48% digital fund transfer, 4.2% market share in mobile app, 4.3 Google Play Store rating of EMV one app. Company had 7.19 crore debit cards issued. Internet banker user base has increased to 3.12 crore. EMV one user base has increased to 2.53 crore. Digital payments and transaction, digital first transaction channels for increasing digital selling customer, digital delivery, strengthening digital product, digital sourcing. These are product offerings including augmenting product suit with digital products and services, digital partnerships and new initiatives. The company has focused on digital payments and transactions and the level of transactions have gone up significantly. 68% of bank transactions are now digital, 38% year on year growth of PNB1 users, 59% year on year growth on PNB1 financial transactions, 43% year on year growth in PNB non-financial transactions. The company has seen a tremendous growth of 97% in UPA transaction, 131% year-on-year growth in FTs opened online, 63% year-on-year growth on funds transfer through PNB1, 131% year-on-year growth in bar and bill pay through PNB1. Digital delivery and sourcing include launch of PNB BA personal advisor, a wide range of products include biometric authentication, instant money transfer, real-time utility payments, managing debit and credit cards, online FDRD booking, open instant DMAT account, interest certificate, virtual card. 
the company has increased presence in home loan and make a loan. Digital account opening, financial calculators, doorstep banking, product information, and contact details are available on the application. Pre approved personal loan, end to end digital loan branch is required, seamless dispersal within minutes, loans up to 8 lakhs provided to customers. Issue Mudra, seamless digital journey, quick dispersal, minimum documentation, flexible repayment terms. Online account opening, 24 per 7 account opening facility, multiple savings account options, digital KYC, no document submissions required for opening a bank account in Bangladesh. Company is tied up with IAFL home loan, home loan and Paisa loan, easy loan, lending card and very card credit capital. Introducing new and exciting personal products and services, fast tag, VVL certificate for pensioners, positivity pay system, internet banking, virtual debit card, voice assist features, liberalized remittance scheme, UPA International, Singlong, and Potan. Company has a very long network of branches across India and social media presence. Branches include 10,264, ATMs include 13,400, DCs include 12,741, international branches include Hong Kong and Dubai. In Delhi alone, the, company, the bank has 333 branches. Regional group indicated and population wise, it is serving metro, rural, semi urban, and urban segments. The one year return of the script has been quite low of 5.41% growth of 2 rupees. The last 6 months it has given an increase of 11% from the lows of 36 it has gone beyond 46. In the last 1 month it has grown by 3.10% a small 1.25 rupees gain. The water's holding includes Government of India more than 75%. Others are public FIS mutual fund. FI holdings have increased in the last four quarters. Mutual funds have remained flat. The Punjab National Bank is one of the uh, top five uh, nationalized personal bank and has a large presence in the North India, consolidating last one year, improving financials and decreasing NPAs. This group is only for long term investors as we see nothing in the short term. Facing resistance around 42, support around 38. Script had a year high of 48 and a year low of 52. Any declines to below 36 should be considered as an opportunity for long term investors can buy and hold the share for a period of one year with a target price of 60 rupees. Thank you for watching this video.